Hello, everyone, and uh, let's get started here. See what we have. So today I will talk about, you know, you heard the expression, if you treat this business like a business, it will pay out like a business. Because people come, we all come from different backgrounds. We all have different experiences. We're all different. We, we're, we're now all over the world. Uh, Crowd1 is growing all over, you know, all the way from South America to the other side of the globe, uh, Asia, Europe, everywhere, Africa. But there's one thing in common. We're human beings. And we have a terrific, fantastic body. We have uh, something that's amazing when you stop and think about it. How amazing we are as humans. What we can accomplish, what we can do, and what we've done. Anyway, so back to our business. There's, there's something called cause and effect. And some of you have heard it before, and some of you have not. So I will, I will just make a short explanation. And if you've been on these webinars before, you know I'm, I'm talking about the only way to change a human being. You know, when you, when you sign someone up, maybe they've never done business. Maybe, maybe they uh, are... They have no knowledge of leadership or whatsoever. Some people have a little bit of knowledge. Some people have a little bit of knowledge about business or they've maybe been in, in this industry before, but I haven't had any success. Anyway, so there is a question we should ask ourselves. Why is it that some people have success and some people don't have a success? And that is because the way they think. So the only way to change something is to change the way you think. There's no other way. There's no other way. You can try, but that's the only way. So you got to stop thinking the way you did before and start thinking in a new way if you're going to have results because if you're thinking in the old way you will have your old results and if you think in a new way you will have new results and cause and effect is an expression where the, if there is no cause there is no effect that means we can put in in cause we could put for instance Goals. If someone doesn't have any goals, there will be no effect. If someone has small goals, there will be a little effect, and so on. So there's a cause and there's effect. That means that with no cause, no effect. Or little cause, little effect. And it's simple to understand when you wrap your mind around it. And that's why I put this uh, four steps. So cause and effect is starts with your thinking. That means that everything you do, everything that will happen for you is caused by your thinking. There it is, caused by your thinking. So when people come into this business, maybe they have been programmed that they think that they can get something for nothing. There's also a cause. When you think you can get something for nothing and there's no such thing, that will have an effect. That means that you think you can get something for nothing and there's no such thing, there will be no effect. So you got to put something in, in the cause. you got to put something in. So you, if you sit in front of a fireplace and you said to the fire, hey, fire, give me some heat because I'm cold. And the fire said, no, you got to give me wood first. So that's how it works. You got to put something in before you can get something out. And if you treat, treat your life that way, it will be an amazing ride. 
So cause and effect is actually everything that happens in cause. That could be thoughts, that could be anything. But it starts with thoughts. So the thoughts give a cause, the cause give an effect. Okay? It will get clear when I start to do this. So for instance, now when you sit in, uh, not everyone is locked down, not everyone is, uh, but most of us actually are. I heard uh, rumors about Africa is closing down. You can't leave your home and, you know, there's restrictions in Europe, there's restriction in certain states um, and so on. I don't know how it is in South America yet, but uh, they're starting to closing down places. Uh, I would not get into to, to, to if I believe that's right or not, but that's what they're doing. Uh, so when you're sitting now and you in front of your screen, your telephone, your computer, wherever you are, people tend to maybe slow down because they're home and they can't do what they usually do. They can't go out. But listen, guys, now is the time where you can really put the platform down for your business. You can really speed it up. You can really do some amazing things because you have so much time. And sometimes when people get more time, they tend to do less. I don't know why. That's why we have these webinars to remind you. You have more time, so you can do more now. So go back to this. Um, cause and effect. Remember, the cause is the name list, for instance. So this is just an example. I know it's old school. I know, you know, maybe you don't work with name list anymore. Maybe you should. I don't know. Maybe you're just working from your phone or, you know, your uh, uh, your name list is in, in Facebook or whatever. But listen, for a person that gets started in this business, we have a system. I will not go through the system today, but we have a system, we, you know, the pipeline, the the, the blocks where we have a first look, second look, we have a bigger meeting and event. And that's the system. But you got to have some people to put in the system. Otherwise, it won't work. So that's a cost. If we don't have people to put in the system, that's a cost. What kind of effect would that be? Well, not good. So now when you're sitting home, maybe you're locked down, maybe your city, maybe your country has some restriction. Now's the time to start working on your name list, getting some new names, because there's, there's a principle that a leader never stops recruiting. Never, ever stops recruiting. I'm sipping a little coffee here because it's five in the morning. So... You got to work on your name list because if your name list is good, so you put a good, big name list as a cause, what kind of effect would that be in your business? Good. So your name list is a cause. You got to work on your name, name list. And that means that you got to now start thinking out of the box. Because some people think, oh, you know, I contact, contacted everyone, but in just. I don't know, you're going to be surprised when you start working. If you like, you, you do it systematically. Always when you have a business, you have a, a place where you sit in your in your apartment, in your room, in your house, wherever you are, you're going to have like a little corner where, where this you say, this is my office. And if you can close the door, it's even better because you, you need to focus when, you, when you're building your business. And I can tell you a story. When I started this many, many years ago, I had no experience of business. A uh, little bit I had, but I mean, I had no experience of this business, this kind of business. But I had a great sponsor who taught me. So he taught me back then we had calling days where we we um, uh, called up people to book meetings. So there were no Internet. So we, we couldn't do this business like this. We had to call people up. You know, ask them if they were interested in any business, and of course you get the 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 answer back. What is it? And you could you couldn't tell on the phone because then you know 
most people wouldn't come even meet you because uh, it sounds weird on the phone and all that stuff. Anyway, so he told us you got to have a di certain day when you focus on just contacting people. So we, I made it Sundays for me. So I, on Sundays, I was sitting in my office. I had a little room, and I was just calling people like crazy. So when you work on your name list, listen, you go through Facebook, you go through Twitter, you go through, uh, you you put, you take a pen and paper, and you say, who did I go to school with? And so on. You work your mind. You start stirring your mind, and there will pop up people that you never thought about before. And it's easier today, I know, because most people have all the contacts in their phone uh, on various uh, social media and stuff. So huge name list will cause a bigger effect. Okay. Number two, if you go to contact, if if you put contact as a cause. So you start, you contact five people to sign up, and you think, yep, that's it. I have my team. I have one left, one right, and and now I don't have to do anything more because now they're going to build the business for me. Eh, wrong. You, you never sign up two people. You sign up people all the time. You never stop signing people. So if you, if you make few contacts as a cause, what kind of effect would that be in your business? Yes little effect the more people you contact the more the bigger your business will be and the more success you will have because contacting is the key is the key to get the people in the system so they get it they get a link and they can watch a movie they can go on on the webinars that all the leaders have there's webinars every day so there's no excuse anymore you know, I can show the business. Yes, you can, because there's webinars every day. There's webinars everywhere. You can put the webinars as a, as a course. If you have uh, many and good webinars, what will the effect be? Cause and effect. But listen, everything happens in your mind. There is where you make the decision. There's not, there's not, no one's going to make the decision for you. You are going to make the decision. So let's go to number three. We put presentation as a cause. And now will be a lot of information. So I hope you have a pen and paper like we told you to. You put presentation as a cause. So if you do if you don't do any presentations, what effect will that be? Yeah, you can see clearly see cause and effect. People don't realize how much action change everything for people. It starts with your thinking, but it ends up with an action. Because you can be number one in your head and take no action. And then you're not going to become number one. Anyway, so presentations. Let's go over to presentation. Presentation as a cause. If you do good presentations, would likely will be good effect. Bad presentations, bad effect. That's why you need to listen to the people who involved you. And that's why you always need, if you've been in the business and you know how this, how this works, you need to train yourself. You need to get in, get in the game, work on your, on your personal development, because personal development will be a cause. So the more personal development you have, the better effect, the, the, the better presentations you will do, the better people you will meet, because there's a system in the universe as well as a system in this business. And that there's an expression called uh, likes attracts like. That means you will attract that kind of people that you are yourself most of the time. So that means if you, if you train yourself and you become a great presentation, present, you know, a great distributor or great member, and you do all the things and you're humble, you will attract such people yourself. And 
if you don't train yourself, you don't read books, you're not on these webinars, you're not humble, you have a huge ego, you say, I'm going to do it my own way, I know what to do, that's ego. Edging God out will not work. So cause and effect is super. So go to follow up. Now when we're locked down, we're sitting in a home, we have so much time. Be really organized and focused on your business. So when you, because this is one of the biggest mistakes people do, they don't follow up. They, they give a presentation, they send a link, they invite people to a webinar, but they don't follow up. And you know how many people are sitting there waiting to get signed up, but no one is contacting them. And also put follow up as a cause. If you do a poor follow-up, so I can give you some ideas. A follow-up, what is it? Well, it's you wanna you wanna you wanna involve people in this business, you want a yes or a no, and people will have questions. So how does this work? I don't get it. Uh, you know, that questions is good. That's not that doesn't mean people are negative because they ask questions. Question is good, even if people are negative. And they go like, oh, this is nothing for me. I don't like this, blah, 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 blah. Don't be angry or leave them, you know, uh, hanging there with a negative. Always be polite. Always be humble. Always tell them, that's fine. You know, I have so much people waiting to sign up, so that's okay if you don't sign up. I'm, I'm telling you, that will be will have a bigger effect. If you do that as a cause, you're humble, you're nice, you're polite, and you leave them with a good feeling, they will come back and ask you, are you still doing that business? Can I sign up now? Because most, most, most people do the mistake that they get you know, a little bit angry or they get negative themselves because someone's turned them down, they feel low, whatever. And that's why you need to work on yourself. You need to work on your personal development. You need to work on being a nice, humble person, whatever happens. So you see, put follow-up as a cause. You do a lot of them, and you do them great. You do a lot of good follow-ups that will have a great effect in your business. So put closing in cause. Most people don't, most people forget to close, you know? So close, what is it? Well, when they, you ha they had a presentation, you do a follow-up, the question is, okay, let's get started. You're going to ask them, let's get started. Let's sign you up. And some people forget to close. They forget that this is, this is a business where you need to close. All selling is about closing. Now we're not selling, I know. We are presenting and we have a system where don't people need to sell, but still they need to close. They need to ask the people, are you are you with me? Are we gonna sign up today? Or a question could be, what package do you want? That's a closing. What package do you want? You know? So you just assume people will sign up and you will see how many more people will sign up just because you closing. You ask the right question. So closing in selling, that's the most important thing. And most people forget about it. S then you put your training or coaching in the course. So if you if you jumped in this webinar late, uh, I will go back and show you. So this is how it works. Oh, a little bit slow. We're talking about cause and effect. With no cause, there's no effect. And the cause are the actions or the thoughts that you're doing will have an effect. So there's always a cause before an effect. The effect is the result. So you have a thought and then you have a result of that thought. Or you have an action and you have a result of that action. So if you came in late, that's what we're talking about. Then we're just putting all this nameless contact presentation, follow-up and closing and training into the course. 
So these are the causes. And there's, there's many, many, many more causes, of course. One cause, one simple cause, look at this. Every, every, um, every human being have 24 hours a day, okay? That's, that's the beauty of life. We get the same time, we get the same amount of time. How you use that time is cause. And then how you use that time will give an effect. Some people are lazy and they're not trained right, so they think they can squander around and do nothing, you know, and they will get nothing done, and a little bit here, a little bit there, and, you know, and then they blame everything on the business. Oh, this business doesn't work because they had the wrong cause. So training and coaching is about discipline getting disciplined because if you have discipline and most people don't know what discipline is i learned from my mentor and that was one of the best lessons in life he said peter your purpose on planet earth is to create your character to build your character and i said okay what's character because i didn't know and maybe a lot of you people don't know what character is. Character is who you are supposed to be. You know, we get we get uh, brainwashed is a good uh, expression by society, by media, by people, by from school. We get you know the wrong training, and then we go out in life. And we get the wrong re results and then people wonder what is it not more than this you know anyway so my mentor said you can have anything in life you can have anything in life that you want to do or have if you just change the way you think that's your responsibility and then he told me your purpose is to build your character because then the character will take care of the rest and he said no character without discipline and i was going like okay what do you mean what's character he said well character is when you're the same person always you don't play a role you're not afraid you're showing the same person to everyone when they see you or they not see you because some people they have one way of acting when people see them and then when people not see them, they act in a totally different way. That is not, that's bad character. That's not character, that's bad character. So people play a role because they want to look good or they don't want to be embarrassed or they don't want to have all these, you know, crazy stuff going on in their head. And then their life looks crazy. So my mentor told me, when you have discipline, you will build your character because you will help yourself. And I said, okay, how does that work? He said, well, discipline is when you don't feel like it, you don't have the urge to do it, you don't want to do it, you have no whatsoever urge doing anything, but you do it anyway. So discipline, you don't feel like it, you don't want to do it, but you do it anyway. That's discipline. When you're disciplined about your name list, when you're disciplined about your contacts, when you're disciplined about your presentations, when you're disciplined about your follow-up, and so on. You can see you put discipline as a cause that will have a great effect in your life. So discipline is the key. That's why we have trainings, because, because training and coaching is the most important thing in this industry is to help people grow as persons, to help people grow. Because it's gonna look like this. The mindset is the cause. So how your mindset is, is the cause. Then you will have an effect. If you have a winning mindset, that's the cause. You will have a winning effect. If you have a losing mindset, loser mindset, that you will have a loser effect. So you see, it's so important that you train yourself 
to be on these webinars and other webinars and other trainings and read books and listen to YouTube to uh, personal development stuff and and not everything is good because there's a lot of people out there trying to be coaches, trying to be teachers, but they haven't never done anything. And and don't make the mistake of listen to people who have never done this kind of business because never ever take advice from a person who can't take you to the next level. That means how can you get an advice for someone who has not built this kind of business and they're going to tell you how to build? It doesn't work. I've seen it happen thousands of times. They may be good coaches and they work with personal development. They have no clue about this business. That's why it's so important to stay close to the leaders who you see, you know, uh, have a winning mindset, working on themselves, you know, they're good leaders, they walk the talk, and so on. So put a mindset in the cause and you will have an effect. So your mindset will have an effect on your life. Simple as that, huh? I know it's simple. There's simple rules, but it's hard to <laughs> to uh, put in action because you need to be focused. You need to be serious about what you're doing. You need to treat people and yourself in a winning way because we're here to help other people. That's your purpose. Your purpose to work on yourself is so that you can help other people getting out of this bubble. You know, people suffering from lack mindset. That means that they think that, you know, oh, this is never gonna work, you know, or, you know, uh, they, have, they have a losing mindset of they think that's, that's, that's not enough and, you know, uh, you know, People are lucky who are successful. Successful or lucky people, they, they just got lucky. And luck has nothing to do with it for most of the people. There's, of course, uh, always people who are lucky. And, you know, but that's that's also take care of itself. So you can see this this examples of people who inherit a fortune. But if they don't have the mindset, they will not keep it. So they're their parents were rich and they inherit a lot of money and they will lose everything if they don't change the way they think and get a mindset of the parents who actually build the fortune they will lose it they will squander around and and lose it i i have a great story les brown is a friend of mine i brought him to europe many years ago and he told me when he was little, he was he he um, uh, he went with his mom, and they were really poor. His mom uh, were cleaning houses for other rich people, you know, and helping out in the kitchen and and so on. And he was always with his mom when she was working. And one day, they work in a rich guy's house, and and. Um, uh, the rich, the the rich guy that they work for, his son had his birthday, so he told Les and his his mother that yeah, it's my son's birthday today, and I have I have two presents for him. Look outside, uh, and there was like this brand new, uh, you know, super flashy car outside, or a boat. I can't remember. Maybe it was a boat. But then he said, and then I have this. And he he showed uh, less cassette tapes. This is gonna I'm gonna give my son. This is gonna give my son the right mindset. And he showed him like five six cassettes. Uh, this is a long time ago, as you understand. Anyway, the son comes walking in, and um, his dad like happy birthday, son. You know they had this uh, birthday party, and there's a lot of people there. And then, then at the end of the party, the the, the dad brought took his son and said, "So now you're gonna, you know, I have something for you." And the son was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." He knew he was gonna get something good. So, so he said, "I have two things for you, son." And he opened up the curtains, and outside was the the car or the boat. And then he said. And then I have this for you. And he gave him the cassettes. This is the most important thing because this will make you 
keep that car or boat outside, but also make you, you can buy as many of those as you want to in life. And he gave him the cassette tapes. Later that afternoon, the son took the cassette tapes when no one, no one was watching and he threw them in the trash. And Les Brown saw that. So he asked the son, can I have those? And the son said, yeah, you can take him. And Les Brown took the cassette tapes. Do you know what was on the cassette tapes? The stuff we're talking about now. It was personal development meant for the son to change his mindset. Guess who got successful? Not the son, but Les Brown. True story. So it's all about you training yourself. It's all about you training your mind so you have a mind set up on good things. Mind set. Mind set up on. So whatever your mind is set up on, you will get. It's a beautiful world. So that's why you need goals. Put your goals in your cause. Put your energy in your cause. Put your action plan in your cause, and you will have an effect. Bam. That's why we have these webinars. So you need some people don't get it at, you know, at once, and some people take time. That's okay. That's okay. That's the purpose. That's, that's how it works. For some, it works faster. Some, it works slower. doesn't matter as long as it works. That's why you need to be on these webinars so you get the idea. Wow. You know, even if there's a superstar on this webinar, maybe it's a, you know, like built millions of people. That person, I guarantee you, got something out of this webinar. Because you will always get something if you're humble and you open your mind and say, I'm open. I want to learn. Feed me. Feed me. Leaders are feeders. That's why you need to feed your team with the right information. That's why you need you need to be here so you can feed your team. When you learn the stuff that we're talking about here on these webinars, then you go out to your team and you train them. That's how it works. That's the beauty. That's life. So that's why we're here. That's why you need to be on the next webinar next Sunday. And leaders always show up. There's no excuse. And I can see this webinar is totally, completely full today. Uh, so we need to get some more spaces. But people, you can record this. There's a recording. You can send it out to, to your team. And you can train them and explain whatever. Guys, you're awesome. And, you know, uh, you're in this business and it doesn't matter what kind of business you're in because what's matter is what you do what matter is what you think what matter is your mindset never forget it and guys the rest of your life will be the best of your life thank you